You're gonna have to do it again? I don't know. Bastard. Bastard. I hope so. Let's start from the top. From the top. Make a drop. Make a drop. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> I saw my I saw my stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He stopped, he stopped. All right, we're live. All right. live. All right, we got episode 156 of In the Pit. Thank you for joining us on our new time. We apologize for any inconvenience. We had a little bit of technical difficulties this morning, but we are on track. We are here. Big Mike is here on In the Pit now. He is the new member of the In the Pit squad. There'll be others to come more in the future. And let's celebrate today, not having the ostrich around. Because boy, oh boy, will everything just go smoothly from here on out. <laughs> Let me tell you, I said from here on out. Yeah, from here on out. So, here on out. Yeah. Thank you very much. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Turn your notifications on. We've got some videos coming out this week. As usual, snack times with Big Nick. There'll be plenty of guests on the show. We've got office games. And then we've got our TikToks coming out. If you want to get a good laugh in, make sure you guys go check that out. Sorry for any of those. I gave a heart attack to thinking I was leaving here, but you know what? I had to fuck with you somehow. Double J's, take it away, please. Yes, yeah, so we apologize for the uh, delay on today's show. Um, I, this, we, we, we've done the first 10 minutes of the show already. <laughs> <laughs> we just kept going. <laughs> for ourselves. For ourselves. For ourselves. We went live. The link was private. We were running a test before the show started and we made a private link so um yeah that's uh yeah yeah it's we're all good hey, we're, 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 we're battle tested now it's we, a we monday. Don't, we're doing, out of the way it's a monday morning we got i was so confused i was checking like why is no one watching why is no one commenting everybody's like, <laughs> bullshit of our new time <laughs> eight o'clock i can't support that yeah, hey, come all on. right gotta go we back got, to we seven. got our comments now we got people blowing hey, up our hey, comments there we go we got chewy baseball saying what's up we got Luciano saying, what's going on, buddy? Nice hey, Luciano, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> yeah, we got Ty, our boy Ty Johnson still here saying, what's right. going on, buddy? So, hey, what's going on, buddy? Yes. Right. So, everything's back to normal. Ostrich, back to if normal. you're watching, fuck you, fucker. <laughs> fuck you, fucker. Let's get back at it. Right. We were talking about Gonzaga. Yes. That yes. game. I mean, that was one of the best games I've ever watched in college basketball. I chalk that up to no fans. Do you think that plays a huge difference? No fans. Uh, what? Do you think that 
think that plays a huge difference? Huge. I think it's massive. I think that we saw so many upsets because, dude, when, when someone hits a big shot, like, dude, I mean, either way, either side of the, uh, like, either team, like, the crowd's going nuts. If the, the underdogs feel the pressure more with that crowd, and, like, that's played a huge factor, and they're going to crumble under the pressure. They're not used to it. I'm not going to argue with that. I think that's why there's a ton of upsets. Has there been no fans there? I thought there was so, only, have, so many they people. Do, but it's not, like, packed. Very limited. Oh, it's like 11%? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. 11.5%. Exactly. 11. 11. <laughs> the 12%, forget it. Yeah. Once you get to 12, everyone's getting sick, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I agree with that. I mean, looking looking at other sports, too. I mean, with the NBA last year when they were in the bubble, I mean, I think there are teams that went off because there were no fans there. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the Suns went 8 0 in the Fan, bubble. Fans play such a factor. They like, do? That's, like, just noise in general. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just that's a huge, huge factor of the game. It really is, especially for a lot of teams. Like they really rely on like fans as like being like the sixth man and stuff like exactly, that. Yeah. Any sport, but like a lot of teams do rely on that. Yeah, makes a difference. It really does. You can get, I mean, so if it's a neutral, I mean the games are already played at neutral sites though mm-hmm. for the playoffs, I mean, for the uh, tournament. So generally speaking, I mean if you're playing at a neutral site, you'll have equal amount of fans. I mean, hypothetically speaking. Mm-hmm. I Hypothetical. I think it's more of just like riding the wave. Of hit yeah. a big shot, it's like you got all that momentum now, and then the, like the other teams, like they're really feeling the pressure if they have to hit a big yeah. shot to follow up. Yeah. Like it just, I don't know, it just adds a, it just it's adds like a noise factor in general. Yeah, but it's funny, we ended up with chalk in the finals, the two best teams in the country right. each other in the finals. Yep. It's just like, yeah. When's the last time there was two number one seeds that went uh, into the finals? They're good. I mean, they have only lost two games this year, so I mean, it's not like they're it's like they should. This is why you play the game. Yeah, no, I feel no. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Because uh, I was worried about whether or not I was gonna wake up and be upset or happy that they won. I didn't want to find out in the morning. That makes my life better. So yeah, so a little bracket update for us. So it's pretty much decided at this point. Congratulations, Dante, on winning the bracket. Thank pool. you. The money line. The money line. The money, the I didn't. I have everyone. I didn't win. Not everyone put in money. So. And that yeah, the money one's the only one that it. counts. But the money one is the one that counts. So no I offense. I uh, am proud to say that I won. I won the show. Congratulations, Congratulations Dante. Russell, who won the overall Yeah, pool. he had a killer bracket. Killer bracket. Maybe next year he'll think twice Russ, about putting in a freaking watching, thing. Russ, if you're watching, congratulations. But you should have put money in. It would have been 80 bucks richer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy with that money. Maybe I'll splurge or buy, uh, buy something. All right, yeah. Don, Dante will be at Hooters tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I remember um, I would go there to watch all the, the college football <laughs> games and stuff back in high school. I would go there all the time. Yeah. I wouldn't really watch the games too much. Uh, they have good wings they, there. They have respectable they wings. Have all right, wings. let's not act like we're going there for the food. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I just do we're going there for Hooters take it only. We're going there for the wings. <laughs> all right, no weirdo. Drums, no no drumstick. <laughs> No so whoever, sticks, does no take, whoever does take out at Hooters, I don't want to talk to you, okay? Yeah, what's the, fuck, what's the point of that? You're just, wasting, you're just wasting gas going out there making the trip. I mean, go to fucking 99 or something. <laughs> don't, don't go to fucking Hooters. There's no out. way you're going to Hooters for the food. Outrageous. Outrageous. I saw, Outrageous. I saw this uh, TikTok this weekend of this, this woman who works at Hooters, and she's talking about um, uh, how she, she, one of the saddest customers she ever served was this guy we drove an hour and a half to go to Mississippi, uh, Mississippi Hooters, and um, waits there for uh, like 30, 45 minutes. Apparently, he was going on a first date with this woman at Hooters. <laughs> what? And, what? And he got stood up by her. No. Damn. That's so That's crazy. tough. I would have literally asked one of the Hooter girls, can you just be my date for just tonight? Can you just, just make this see. worth it for me? Just, <laughs> right? That's just like, well, just have conversation. I'm not talking about anything crazy here. Just have conversation. <laughs> can you make this trip work? That's so that tough. Sucks. I mean, that's on him. I mean, why? I, I mean, I agree. Why I mean, that's a date. Yeah, if, you're, if you're planning a first date at Hooters, there's something wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah, that, that relationship's not lasting. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean you're going you're, you're gonna to talk. You're going to listen to her lips, but your eyes are going to be somewhere else. <laughs> You see the movement, but you ain't listening. Yeah, ain't happening. Not. So, but going back to basketball tonight, we got Gonzaga, Baylor, Gonzaga minus five. Mm-hmm. Who are you guys taking tonight in the finals? I gotta. I'm, I'm not even just saying. Well, obviously at this point it doesn't matter. I'm not saying it because I picked them, but like I got 
I gotta pick Zyga. I mean, the way they ended last game, I mean, they have to. They have to win. Yep, covering the spread, minus five. Mm, no. I think it'll be close. I think it'll be like a two, three point decision. My, bet, my bet's about, in on minus five. Minus five? Yeah. Can we put it in? I'm taking Gonzaga, but I think they don't cover the uh, they don't cover the spread. I'm, I'm in the same boat. I think uh, Gonzaga. I think it's mixed. I mean, I got Zaga in the whole thing. I got to stick with it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bitch out now. I had one bragger right against Zaga Baylor. I'm I'm gonna come in fifth place against Zaga wins my bracket. Don't win anything, but like satisfaction. I'd be curious what Joey's doing tonight. Yeah. Should we give him a call? Fuck it. Let's give him a call. Why? What's Joey doing? Oh, I have Gonzaga Baylor in one of my brackets as well. Hey, who's winning, Gonzaga? Or? Which team do you have? Gonzaga. Uh, yeah. But that's just like a bracket I pulled out just for shits. So that's it. Uh, see what hey, hey, we got to give Joey the courtesy call here, buddy. Hey, Joey, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> oh. The office would be cool if he was here. Yeah, we're working on him. We're working on it. He's trying. He's trying to get in here once or twice a week. He's trying. Really? Yeah. I don't think he's answering. All right, Joey. We'll catch you on the seal Fuck later. You, catch you on the seal. Oh. This is the most hysterical voicemail. Yeah. Hey, Joey. It's Joey. If you want, uh, it's Joey. <laughs> yeah, it's Joey. It's a Joey. It's, it's a Joey. It's a Joey. It's Joey. I mean. Let's just say, have you, all right. Casey's. Before we continue, <laughs> have you all heard Casey's? No, I haven't. And have you heard Joey's? You would, that, that's a debate. Whose is the weirder voicemail? Uh, Casey's a little literal child when he gets voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> Get in frame. Uh, I can't even it's get his first day of the job. Here. He's getting used to it. I can't get hey, he's got to get. He's just felt. He's just getting in the ropes here, right? He's a comfort guy. So, uh, Big comfort. Guy. So let's move on. We got some more college basketball. We got the Stanford women winning the uh, NCAA tournament for the first time since 1992. Shut up. That was a great game too. I mean, that was a wire game. Arizona had a look at the end to win the game. Crazy. Yep. They have what that girl on Arizona. Like I saw this stat. I thought it was pretty wild. She has like. 80 or 90 straight games of scoring 10 plus points or something like that. That's a, that's that's a very impressive. That's very impressive. Yeah, I unfortunately I didn't really follow. I mean, yeah. the biggest the biggest takeaway is, is UConn not making it. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe that. What are we doing? Paige buckets. Paige she, buckets? Won, she won the Smith. Did she? Yeah, she won the Smith and Olivia uh, Carson. Makes sense. They'll be back in it again next year. Yeah. I wonder when that guy's going to retire, to be honest. He's been doing it forever. Gino. I don't think he'll ever retire. I think he might just die. Die on the line. court. Uh, coach retired, though. Roy Williams. Roy Williams. Was anyone expecting that? Was that? Or was that kind of a shock? It was kind of a shock. I yeah. bet you. I bet you North Carolina and Notre Dame just kept it quiet. I bet you he said something like, this is probably it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you would get every recruit at North Carolina. I mean, fuck. I don't care if I committed to Gonzaga. If I found out Michael Jordan was at North Carolina, my ass is going to North Carolina. Mm-hmm. That'd be a great. I mean, I don't know if I want to play for Michael Jordan, though. <laughs> learn from one of the – learn from the arguably the greatest basketball player that ever lived. Do you think he's a good think, coach, though? I mean, the thing he's a hell of a recruiter. I don't know how great Greg can be at coaching. None of his children I mean, he's an awful general manager, awful general manager. Or, or whatever you call it. It's – I think – David Ross. Uh, David Ross. Aaron Boone was a bench player. Dave Roberts. Dave Roberts was a bench player. Al Cor was a bench player. Yep. So you have all these guys who just like know <laughs> how to be around like guys and not didn't necessarily you know exceed at being great coach at, at great yeah. players. One exception is like uh, is like Dusty Baker was a really great player and he's been a great coach. Frank like, Robinson was pretty good too. Yeah, Frank Robinson. Shout out yep. Michael Jordan's golf course, though, for making drones bring you drinks on the course. That's, <laughs> That's fucking awesome. So, like, he succeeded at that. Yeah. I mean, he got that much money. It won't really matter. Yeah, let's be honest. If I'm, on the, if I'm on the ninth fairway, and I'm, or, like, third fairway, and I'm not even close to the turn, so car yeah. girl is nowhere to be found. If I could get a bucket of beer drop me from the sky, sure. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Sign me up. I'm with Nick. If he, went, if he was the coach of North Carolina, I would, I would want to play there in a heartbeat. I'd want to stay all four years. It'd be, I'd be, want, it'd I'd be a hell of a recruiting. For four years. It'd be one hell of a recruiting thing. Oh, he'd be great recruiting. He would be. I mean, he would. How much would he honestly have to do to be honest? He'd be like, yeah. "Do you want to play here or not?" I'm Michael like Jordan. Do you want to play for me? <laughs> Look, I don't fucking care if you want to come here or not. I'm MJ. If you want to fucking get better? Come to me. If not, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. And you can create it. Yeah. Who? Cool. Roy Williams? Yeah. Johnny, I'm with you. I'm with you, Johnny. Yeah. Hot takes. Hot takes. Hot takes. Sports nuts? They're spicy today. Roy Williams or Mike or Coach K? Fuck few. We didn't talk about it on the new update. We actually went live for real. I was saying that I think Mark Few is the best college basketball coach currently in college basketball. Because, yeah. I mean, it's hard to argue. How many national championships did he win? None. None. This year, yeah. Could win Yo, one. Win this year. Roy Williams never won a national no, no, championship. No, 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 we're talking about the Gonzaga coach. Oh. Yeah. Roy Williams, he, he won one with Kansas and he won one with uh, UN, he won two or two with Kansas. Two, two, two. Coach K has six. <laughs> oh, that's right, you're a Duke fan. <laughs> <laughs> coach K has six. And, and like 1,200 wins. Yeah. Talk about a talk about a guy who uh, probably will never retire. It's Coach K. I mean, if he would have retired, he would have done it by now. He ain't never gonna go to the NBA. Theoretically, he did the Olympics though. Te- yeah, te- I mean technicality. 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 All right. So we had some uh, baseball action this weekend. Uh, first weekend of MLB action. Or in your uh, case, no action. Watched. I watched a fair bit of baseball. I didn't watch my team play. <laughs> Sorry, I had to rub that one in. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I went down. Okay, I'd rather so be in here than the Red Sox fan. Oh. For the viewers the at Sox home who don't suck. know, I am a Washington Nationals fan. I don't think you can tell from my hat or anything. No, but never. Walgreens? But Walgreens, go Walgreens. Go Walgreens. However, Sponsored I, by Flazer. I'm from the East area. I flew up. My brother has an apartment right outside of Nationals Park. The whole plan was I was going to go down Thursday and go to the game on Sunday. I had tickets for Sunday. And I go down, and fr- on Thursday afternoon, we were recording the new episode of Sportsnet. So right before <laughs> we were recording it, I get an alert. I felt so bad. The Nationals have delayed Thursday's game. And right then and there, I knew the games were going to get canceled for the weekend. I knew, like, immediately. You were fucked. When the C-word gets brought in, you know, it's not looking good. So You're fucked. I go down, and I don't do anything. I can't do anything. So I don't watch the games, you know. I get to watch I, my brother has a view of the stadium from his roof. So I got to watch the Mets practice. That was cool. <laughs> was actually, the funniest thing was, cool. so right next to the Nationals Park, there is this, like, like, a, like a beer garden type thing. Yep. 
Um, and so we were hanging oh, out there. What's it called? The bullpen. Yes, yeah. I love the bullpen. Yeah, it's sick. What a day that place is. <laughs> oh. You've been so there? We, went, yeah, so yeah. we were chilling in the bullpen. We were watching the Baylor game. And my brother is, like, kind of friends with one of the Washington Post reporters. And he, the Washington Post reporter knows that um, that my brother lives right outside Nationals Park. So my, he gets a, my brother gets a text from the Post reporter saying, hey, can you do me a favor? And he was like, yeah, sure, what do you need? And he's like, um, apparently I got a report that Max Scherzer is throwing out of the bullpen right now. Can you go up to your roof? and see if Max Scherzer is actually throwing. That's so cool. So we're like, yeah, we're on it. We sprint up from the bullpen. We go to the roof, and we see him. He's warming up on the field. We have binoculars. We're just watching him warm up. That's it. So he's just throwing. He's warming up. So we broke a story that Max Scherzer was warming up. We broke the story. We broke the story. Broke the sources. Gossip. Gossip. Max Scherzer is what? He's a practice. Gossip sponsored by Johnny Rash. So they're playing tomorrow. I'll watch their game tomorrow. Four o'clock game. Excited for that. Scherzer is going to get... Who are, they, who are they playing now? Braves. The Braves. Good game. But uh, speaking of games, the, your Red Sox, man. Red I Sox called this. Suck. I called this. They're a fucking joke. They're not get, like, I don't know why people are so upset on social media like, oh, the Red Sox aren't good. Not, what were you fucking expecting? Yeah. We knew this was going to happen for months. Like, Ugh. they're not good. I thought they'd be bad. I thought they'd beat the, uh, the Orioles. I thought they'd be better than them, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> That's on me for giving for having some faith or hope in the team. Fucking to be ridiculous. Okay, this thing. So but they stink. It's not even like we're. Oh, it's not like the bullpen's the issue or anything like that. The offense sucks. The bullpen. Ain't the good. starting pitching's fucking terrible. They gave up ten runs Everything yesterday. Everything is terrible about the team. But the, the offense so the can't bail them out. Baltimore Orioles. Matt Harvey, fucking. They made Matt Harvey, Harvey look like the Dark Knight again. Fucking I mean, rocking us. Like, are you kidding me? On paper, I mean, they didn't have yesterday. They had a. Uh, Devers was out yesterday. Look at the fuck. But like, look at the, just look, listen to this lineup. Kike Hernandez, Alex Verdugo, JD Martinez, Xander Bogarts. Fine. That Frenchy guy sucks. Frenchy Cordero. Don't like him. Then you have Marwin Gonzalez, Hunter Renfro, Christian Vacas, Bobby Dalbeck, and Christian Arroyo. Christian, <laughs> Christian Arroyo. Give me a fucking break. I want to throw awful. up. It's awful. I mean, it's going to be a. Uh, Can we just sim the year and just get the top pick in the draft? And well, this is the fucking part that sucks to get the fourth overall pick. They can't even get any of the Vandy kids. Yeah, I, uh, They can't even so get them. Annoying. So they annoying. can't even get them. Uh, he's, not, he's, he's 100% not. going number one. That kid's a stud. He's so good. Is that kid, like, allowed to hit you this year yet? He's still just going no-nos every game. He gave up his first hit in, like, 20 innings. He had 20.2 20. innings. Uh, kid's a fucking stud. That's absurd. Kids are fucking And see, like, stud. you know they're not going up against, like, shitty competition or anything it's like the that. SEC. Like, they played LSU and yeah. shit, Arkansas shit. Yeah. That ain't no joke. No. So Jack Leiter this That's year, 42 innings. He's given up 10 hits, three, two earned runs. He has a .43 ERA. That's, That's disgusting. That is absurd. <laughs> that is absurd. You hear what he said one time in one of his uh, posts? He's like, yeah, I don't even feel like I've pitched my best baseball yet. Yeah. Yeah. 71 strikeouts and 42 innings. 71 strikeouts and 42 innings. He's having 15.2 yeah, strikeouts per nine. Yeah, the kid's going number one. I mean, yeah, the kid, yeah. and then you got Kumar. You got Kumar Rocker. Yeah, Kumar Rocker. I mean, I think, and the I, will, I, I do think this. Of yeah. the two of them, I think Rocker is more major league ready. I think his stuff plays better in the majors. But, I mean, you can't go, I mean, I mean you can't go wrong. This is what Rocker's stats are. In 43 innings, he's given up four runs, <laughs> 61 strikeouts, with an 84, a .84 ERA. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. I mean, if Lider, if Lider wasn't in the rotation, he would have all the attention. Yeah. yeah. I mean, both of these guys are just absolutely nuts. You're, it's going to be hard, very hard to beat that team in a three-game series when those two guys are fucking one and two. I have a Vanderbilt headband coming in the mail today. I'm pretty hyped about that. Excited. I'll wear it tomorrow. Tim Corbin. Tim Corbin, one of the best to do it. He's really good at recruiting. The pitchers especially, man. Something that they have to pitchers. They know. They know how to build them. They know. They know how to recruit them. They know how to recruit them. There's something in that water. Some fucking smart kids who know about aerodynamics and shit down there. That's all it is. That's all it is. Speaking of studs, you guys see Shohei last night? Johnny. Shiny I'm telling you, I'm actually happy you brought that up because I think I'm going to do it right now. I want to 
one, I, I, I'm picking him to win MVP. He's, I mean, stop. Stop. he's my stop. This is, <laughs> he's nasty. It's the most ridiculous comment of all time. time. So, so here are the stats from last night on Shohei. So, first of all, he was the first pitcher since 1903 to hit second in the lineup. That's insane. And he crushed it. Then, in the first inning, he threw a pitch 101 miles an hour, which is the fastest pitch so far this season. Well, that's what happens if you have a knee in your elbow. <laughs> you have strong attendance. <laughs> and in the bottom half of the inning, batting second, he hits the first pitch 100, 451 feet at 150 miles an hour, which is the hardest hit ball of the season. Yeah, it's yeah, insane. Better. It's very This impressive. is one of those situations that, like, maybe not the best player will win MVP, but it's hard, if you're looking at most valuable player, it's hard to get any more value of a guy who can do things on both sides of the ball like he does. He's not even the most valuable player on his own team. I think he's more valuable than Trout. If you like, oh! 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 If you, oh. Guy, if you have a guy who can do what he, he's playing, Whoa. he's batting five of the six days of the, year, of the week. Oh. He's hitting oh. almost every game. And then on the sixth day, he gets on the bump and pitches for you? Oh. There's no one who gives you more value. He's not, I'm not saying he's the best player, because Trout's by far the better player. But in terms of value, who is more valuable to a team? Like we have a rotation. We have a rotation that's passed yeah, hot the Angels. Right now. That's how he wins MVP. Security, get him out of here. <laughs> the Angels have been mediocre for years with Trout as the best player. Mm. If Otani is the X factor for that team this year, if Otani can play like the way he can play, that team is a difference is a difference maker. That's why he's more valuable to the Angels than Trout is. I mean, if Trout's gone, that team's ass too. But Otani is the X factor who's going to make or break that team. I think Which the X factor part is correct. But the more valuable player part, I don't know if I can get behind. I mean, you're better yeah. bet on him for most well, like, valuable Well, that's players. different. That's different. Nah, that's different. That's title, different. Though. I can't what? bet on him. It's not up. <laughs> I don't know. That's a very I, – I mean, if you got to pick which one you'd rather have on your team, I'm picking Mike Trout every day of the week. 110%. There is just no – there's just no – place in my mind where I'm picking Otani. And, and Otani has even no. proven he can stay healthy for a I season. I think he's great, and I, I understand where you're coming from. Do not get me wrong. I understand where you're coming from. I just I just don't agree with it. I that's mean, all. it's how he's going MVP, and the MVP is most valuable. That's what I just said. That's what I'm saying, Johnny. That's what I'm saying. Dante's caught in the loop It's right different, here. though. It's different. It's different. Whose side do you want? I, Pick a side. I'm, I'm on the Trout side. They're There's like, absolutely the – there might be less than a 0% chance that Shohei Otani wins MVP. Hey, I don't think we'll you're. If he stays healthy, if he stays healthy, I think it's a big he if. Stay. That's a big if. He, need, he needs to stay healthy. Yeah. I mean, listen, yeah. That's, that's the big He's got to play at least 150 games this year. That's what I think. You think? Do you think he will? He, he has to. I'm hammering the under on that. I don't think I mean, he'll do I think it. I mean, again, with pit, when he's pitching, he gets a day off after he pitches, so he's not gonna get 150 games. So he'll happen. probably play around. If he stays healthy all year, probably. Why can't he DH? Because he needs a day off. He fucking had 18 so how, months so off to fucking. To <laughs> if he needs a day off to recover everything. I mean, uh, it's helpful because he can still hit and pitch. I mean, he's still doing a shit ton. A pitcher can win MVP. Clint Kershaw won MVP. I mean, Verlander won MVP, MVP over Ellsbury, which was still ridiculous. But. Yeah, pitchers can win MVP. Yeah. So if he's pitching like a 3 3 clip this year and he's hitting the way he does, like four out of every five days, I mean, that's value on both sides of the ball. You're not going to get a player who provides more value to your team. I mean, yeah, but Mike Trout can't pitch. Yeah, he probably could. He probably could. Put him in there. He probably, <laughs> he probably <laughs> Let's he probably just see. Let's test him out on the bump. I just think there's no one. Throws 101 for you. Know, I'm actually yeah. changing my pick. You know who I'm picking to win MVP this year? Who? German Mercedes, baby. Uh, oh, oh, here we fucking go. German on Mercedes the starts top. the season 8 for 8, which is the yeah. best start to an MVP. Oh, he's yeah. on my Chicago White Sox that I thought, that I think is going to the World Series. Ding, 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 ding. I called that shit before he fucking went eight for eight, right? He did. Yeah, yeah, that's he did. So yeah, it's the longest consecutive, most consecutive hits start of season since any player in the modern or something era. like that. Yeah, in the modern era. Since Watch him go like zero for sixteen with sixteen strikeouts now. Just, after we talk about this. Twenty-eight year old rookie. He's a, whoa, whoa, he's twenty-eight. He's twenty-eight. Oh shit, I didn't know. He's, he's bounced old. around three organizations. He was originally signed by the Nats. Then he spent time with the O's before the White Sox signed him in twenty eighteen. He's uh yeah. He's like a, he only got uh, a, pl- a chance to start because I mean, the White Sox already have a bunch of injuries. With How about this guy getting hurt and they're treating it like this guy died? 
Like they had his jersey oh hanging up. Yeah, they were what like, was we that did, all about? He goes, I actually did, didn't know. He's anything. out four to five months with an injury. Is this act like the, the White Sox? I thought, like, I thought, they, I thought they, someone died. Yeah, look, that. Yeah, and I read nothing as, else into as it. Everyone, as everyone, like, oh, as everyone else those. assumed, they're like, we're, we're we're doing this for this game. We're dedicating this game to him. Like they want. It's like this is. So he's just injured. Yeah, he's just injured. He just tore his pec. He'll be back. He'll literally be back in a few months. They literally were acting like this guy was dead. He tore his pec. Okay, so it's not even like life threatening. No, it was very bizarre. Well, no, he'll be back. That's he'll be back weird. in a few months. Like, it, he'll it be fine. It was fine. like the fucking uh, Donnie, uh, what, the Donnie Smith, the, the uh, Spurs player. What? Donnie Smith. Donnie Smith. Donnie Smith the fourth. I, it's not like Donnie. Oh, you mean Lonnie Walker? Lonnie Walker. Yeah, yeah, when he hurt his wrist and everyone, yeah. there was so, a thing that put out and they were like. For the Spurs Nation, they made this graphic that said, uh, rest up Lonnie. And it looked like he died. <laughs> He's like all this for rest. Uh, and he said all this for rest. I almost said RIP my damn self here. <laughs> I, I didn't realize your hand was there. My bad. <laughs> I just tried to think. I was like, okay. I almost RIP my damn self. <laughs> That's wicked funny. Yeah. yeah. Rest up, Lonnie. Unbelievable. That's so funny. Yeah, it's Donnie Smith. I was like, who? <laughs> Donnie, yeah, Donnie Smith. Smith. Donnie yeah, Smith the fourth. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Anyway. Yeah, it's hilarious. We also had on a Saturday. We had our first fight of the season. Yes, Red this was Thomas. hilarious. There was a fight. Yeah, I missed it. It was, it was a, a brawl. Nick, Nick Castellanos gets hit by a pitch, and then he comes up and scores on a wild pitch. And he gets up and he flexes on the pitcher, goes up and sits like this. Yanni Molina won nothing. To do. He had he was bullshit. Uh, yeah, I love that I move out of Castellanos. So. Yeah, I mean you got him. That's so, such like that's just a. But then Castellanos had a, had a great quote afterwards. He was asked about Yanni or Molina. And he said the guy could have punched me for in the face. I still would have asked him for a sign jersey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quote of the year. That's yeah. awesome. So, yeah, that was that was funny. I mean, apparently fighting's still not allowed, allowed this year. Coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah, COVID rules. Although, it's the Cardinals bullshit. are one of the three teams in baseball that have hit the 85% threshold where they can reduce, they step back uh, restrictions. So, like, they don't have to wear about a week they want to wear masks in the clubhouse. Yeah, that's, yeah. Okay, who's this? Oh, the clubhouse. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I thought you were talking well, about the fans field. and yeah. stuff no, like no, that. No. I was like, all right, well, that's probably not. So 85%, so if your team gets 85% vaccinated, oh. then, then they will yeah. pull back the restriction yeah, on your team. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. So, so far, the three teams um, that have done it, it's the Astros, the uh, Cardinals, and the Angels. They've the all hit the same 85% threshold. And so in a few weeks, they no longer have to wear masks. The officers as much, you know, that's the yeah. So it's kind of incentivizing players to get vaccinated. You know, we'll players don't. We'll talk about that another time. But that's what is it. Sports yeah, nuts. Yeah, you can't Sports force the players to get vaccinated. But um, yeah, so that's so they so the Cardinals could fight. I mean, they're clean to fight. They won't get COVID. That's it. You only get to fight if you have that seventy-five percent, that eighty-five percent thing. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, the last topic for the day. Did you guys see the trailer for Space Jam Two? Yeah. Yeah. I did. I did. So I liked it. <laughs> I, I no, I there actually so much don't. bad talk about it. Going I don't into it. I, I, I think it looks great. The, the I concept of it, I, I don't think it's going to be that bad. I'm not saying I'm not even going to compare it to the first one. I don't think it'll be anywhere near that. But I think for what they're trying to do, I think it'll be okay. You guys also have to realize it's not. It's It's yeah. It's not. It's not but supposed the, to be. The issue is it, it, it's us. a kids movie, but it <laughs> yeah, is marketed true, yeah. towards an old generation. It, so the whole yeah. thing is. Like it's the universal universe. Mm-hmm. So like all these characters from old movies are in the background. Yeah, yeah. You like know. you have like the fucking guys from Clockwork Orange, the rapists from Clockwork Orange in the stands cheering on LeBron James yeah. in the kids movie. You have Pennywise the Clown. I mean, who's that for? That's not for kids. It's that for part, yeah, that part, the uni- whole universe aspect of it. I really don't understand that. that I mean, but I'm like, a fan. I, I can't think wait it could be cool. It. I think it'll be. Cool. I'll definitely watch it. This no movie, doubt. I don't think this movie's made for kids. It's made for adults. It's made for people who like Space Jam who are now in their forties. Like, okay, we can make something. I mean, make nostalgia. They should have done this years ago. And honestly, like, I, I don't I'm not taking anything away from it now, but like, if they made this like 2010 or something like that, I think it would have been much better. But the, what year did the first one come out? 95. Mid 90s. It was when LeBron. It was when MJ was still in his prime. Oh, he was retired. He was retired at this point. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, yeah. For, yeah. But then he won three champion. He won three NBA titles right after that. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> My bad, <laughs> My bad yeah. yeah. Honest mistake. Yeah, I don't feel like second. I think it'll be okay. Right. We'll see, though. I was pleasantly surprised by the trailer. Yeah, that's the thing. When does it I come out? I thought it was going to be a lot worse. July, I think. July. I think it was going to be a lot worse than, than it came out to be. All right, we got some viewer questions. Q&A. First of all, the viewers, 
And not the viewers want where is Mel? She's over there. Not now the way. viewers want you. They're asking for a gardener cam. The, the fans. Viewers, the fans the are the asking for you. He'll be back tomorrow. He'll be back tomorrow. He'll be on the show tomorrow, we'll guys. Go. We're gonna get AJ's gonna be on the show. Not Cam tomorrow. Probably not Cam. <laughs> not Cam. Okay. Ostrich will be back. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck him. We got Adam from Brisbane, Australia, watching at 10:30 oh, p.m. Fuck hey, him. from the land down under. <laughs> so we got a. Uh, Yeah. Respect the fuck out of that. 10.30 p.m. Yeah, at dope. night. Respect. Ooh, got Colin in the comments calling you out, Big Nick, saying Bryce Harper's Phillies 3-0 and to start the year. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Let's Sorry, I'm allergic to the bullshit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What? I mean, they, they swapped the Braves. It's a good team. They, they swapped a good team. They swapped them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you tell me again why you don't like Bryce Harper? It's a long story. Can you give me a short I played him when I was 12. He kicked the crap out of our team. And he's an arrogant fuck. Walked around like he was Prince Charming. I mean, gratefully so. I mean, at 15, he was like, how much more so than Wait, so. The guy's gross and Are you guys the same age? He's one year younger than me. Oh, okay. So you've been holding that grudge against him since you were 12? Pretty much, yep. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. That's so bad. You yeah, should. Oh my, do you remember me, motherfucker? Do you remember me? Hey, Prince remember this Charming, motherfucker? You remember me? Fuck you, fucker. Fuck you, fucker. Fuck you, fucker. You fucking arrogant what asshole. did you play with that league? Played against him in Cooperstown. Oh, that's sick. That's really cool. He was on one of these select teams that they flew him in for the week and oh, played on the team for a week. Wow, he flew him in. Yeah, yeah. Flew in the Messiah. Hot commodity. I mean, it worked. Honestly, <laughs> I saw Big Nick was on the list. You were there like, fuck, we gotta bring in the bring big guns. Bring in the guns. big guns. Yeah. Bring in the rice. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That brought him in because of me. Don't you forget it. Now I'm straight. We got a um, we got a question from Carter. Carter. Hey, Nick, who do you like most of all the people in Wimbledon? Who do I like all the most? I mean, the PR answer would be AJ because he's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> the money. The money. Just, the, the money. PR. The PR answer would be that. But uh, if I had to choose who I like the most, I gotta go with our mascot, Rocky. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, 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 we, I, I know. There's half of you guys haven't met him yet. Yeah. I gotta. He's, he's the uh, distanced mascot. Believe that. Trust me. Back in the OG Resident days when we were up in the house, he was up every day with us. Good boat. That's awesome. Guy, guy, real today? guy give the love to the mascot. Yeah, All right, do a riddle. I'm fucking paralyzed listening yeah, to this I don't, right now. <laughs> where, where do I even start to unpack it? What was the fourth Which thing you said? The what wind? Was, as small as an Are you the wind? A whale? Uh, Am I the wind? Answer, what, is wind? <laughs> what is wind? Rachel! What is death? What is fire? Is, what is don't bring, he's going to have to repeat this. It's gonna, we're gonna be here I mean, I might need him to repeat it anyway. I mean, yeah, I need him to repeat it. I can't guess. I don't know even to think. The answer was a shadow. What? You are on the all the riddles are like fire, wind, death, shadow. Ghost. Here's the easier one. What has six faces but does not wear makeup? Has 21 eyes but cannot see. Oh, you know, I actually think I've heard this before. Yeah. Nice. That boy, John. I've definitely heard of that one before. All right. I think that's it for us today. Nick, you want to sign us off? All right. Thank you guys for watching in the pit today. You guys better like and subscribe. Make sure you check out our other videos, office games, mug shots, snack times. Check out our TikTok page. Make sure you put down comments below what you want us to talk about next. Make sure you come back again tomorrow. Again, we are at 8 a.m. Eastern time from now on. We will have some more members of the team on the show tomorrow. Make sure you turn your notifications on so you get our alerts as soon as they come out. Enjoy the rest of the day, you motherfuckers.